Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. In this video, I want to show you a couple of raids that I've been doing at um, Champion 3 level. Now, Champion 3 starts at 3292, and you can see I'm getting close to being a max Town Hall 10. I'm sorry, Town Hall 9. And um, it's been a pretty good, um, I guess, league to be in. You get a very good bonus in the... In this league, you get 1,220 Dark Elixir and 200,000 Golden Elixir. Um, going up to Champion 2 is good, but I find this one to be really good. You also get a one-hour guard, which is really nice. You can see I am upgrading my... Well, I'm not upgrading yet, but I'm working to upgrade my King to level 30. I need 140,000 Dark Elixir, and I have 43,000 right now. My Queen's at 25, and I may leave her there and still go up to Town Hall 10 soon. Um... So yeah, let me show you a couple of raids that I've done here at Champion 3. My first one is this one here. You can see here I am, ABC from Unity Elite. Um, I, like I said, I like to use HGHB. It costs about 1,000 Dark Elixir and about a little over 200,000 regular Elixir. And I can make that up pretty easily. But look at this base. I mean, 500,000 gold. There's 500,000 Elixir and 2,500 Dark uh, yeah, dark elixir. So here I go, bringing my um, my troops in this way. What I usually do is I check to see. I basically try to send my troops up the middle. If they go in, great. If they don't, if they start going around, um, I start sending my hog riders. So giants are in the middle. Put down my um, second rage and basically clean up this the middle. Here comes my hog riders. I have two spells, two heal spells for them. Um, I worry about splash damage and I also worry a lot about Teslas. In the middle, my queen is taking out the skeletons, and healers are healing them up, and I'm doing really well. Um, hog riders are clearing out the defenses. I anticipate another giant bomb, so I put that down. I also want to watch out for any other traps. There's the giant bomb, and this is pretty much, um, pretty much done as far as defenses go. I send in my other troops around the outside. You can see I've cleaned up troops. I have wizards and archers and at this point even the hog riders are about to start helping with the um with the cleanup so there we go hog riders have no more defenses so they start taking out the very very full gold storages uh, they do have level 10 walls this this person has level 10 walls but you can see the focus now is going on to be on the bottom of the space and with just 10 seconds left it's an easy three star for 500,000 of each um each resource and 2,500 dark elixir. Plus, with the 200,000 golden elixir bonus, you know that's really 700,000 of each of those. So that's the first one I want to show. And let me load up the second one now. Now this is the second one. Now you can see this guy's in masters too. But look at the loot: almost 600,000 gold, 500,000 elixir, and 5,200 dark elixir. And you can see the pumps are full. And the even the storage has a lot. Plus, you can see this one expo is out of ammo, and this one has some, but that's fine. Let me get this one started here. Like I said, I use the same type of troops to get break in. I put the giants down, healers down, and then I start funneling. The funnel is great because then it makes the queen, the king, and the bowler go right up the middle of the base. They only have level nine walls here, so the giants can break through very easily put the rage down and they can just break through like crazy here and you know really get to the core of the base which is very important so so definitely learn how to funnel it's very important and I'm trying to remember when I bring the hog riders in but you can see I'm really working right to the core there so I use the second rage to do some damage in the middle and here come my hog riders now I always put a heal spell down around the bomb towers because there is explosive splash damage when you blow up the building. So let's check this out. There it goes, but the heal spell is there, which is fine. Um, you can see the bowlers have the whole center to themselves. We're gonna watch the hogs go around. I put the second heal spell down here because I know this is pretty much the end of the, um, the defenses. So I put that down. The only thing that's really left is the king after this and the um, and this. Tesla and now the hog riders can go and do some cleanup and there we go two three-star attacks for really pretty amazing loot 
at Champion3. So I guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't you know? Don't forget to really try to get up to some higher bases because there's really good loot up there, and plus the bonuses are really good as well. So if you like this video, hit, please hit the like button, and also please don't forget to subscribe for more Clash of Clans. Thank you guys for watching.